Okay, well, the sun's out, but I tell you what, I've needed two coats this morning. It was absolutely freezing out there. I queued from six o'clock in the morning uh, to get into get the gear car boot sale, and they were still coming in, gone past 20 past eight. That's how big it was. It was massive. Wasn't a lot to buy. I have had half a dozen really nice little things that I'm going to share with you now, and a little bit of jewellery. So we'll start off, show you my whole video today and take a look at the jewellery first. I'm going to move into some nice pieces and I'll keep my star lock for the end. <laughs> I really hope you enjoy. So here's a little haul I had first off. So I had a selection of nine karat gold earrings. Um, some with pearls, some with other stones. Um, they're all fully stamped up on the uh, backs. So, was it one, two? I think it's three pairs of nine karat gold earrings. This is a vintage, it's probably plastic, um, little terrier brooch. It's about two or three inches long. Nice, real nice looking brooch, to be honest with you. Um, a sterling silver ring set with a Wedgwood panel. Little sterling silver butterfly with marker seats stamped down in the corner this is a sterling silver and turquoise bangle really nice fully stamped up um what else have i got there there's a little silver ingot ring and silver pendant with mother of pearl how much they come in at a pound a piece so as you can see there, there's some good profit there. There's you know two or three grams of gold in that uh, in those earrings, um, and they come in a pound a piece. So I'm over the moon with that. The turquoise bangle and the Wedgwood ring and the silver butterfly they're going on the website. The other bits I haven't decided yet. So as I've said, Gethley Gear was a little quiet. Uh, a lot of people, well, a lot of people there. Let me rephrase that, but it was all children's toys and clothes not the type of thing i deal in but if you were um, a dealer in vintage toys or clothes or not so much vintage toys i'd have bought them myself more than modern you know pepper pigs and things like that then you would have done a field day a bit today literally on the field next piece is a large piece of italian glass by murano it's a little rough on the base there that's not uh, the way it's cut that is where they've uh, had a sticker on there or something along them lines but beautiful thing it's purple inside not the best of colors i like them when they're the bright colors but these facet vases they do sell very well you know there is a tiniest of nibble on the rim just there it is tiny now the vase cost me a whole whopping two pounds this morning in perfect condition it's probably a 50 or 60 pound bars um so we'll see what i can achieve with that tiny little flea bite chip but a beautiful little thing for two pound less than three dollars really pleased and this is the big one good size too it's not the small version i've had a little vintage teddy cat now, he's been loved to the point that some of his fur is missing and that he's straw-filled, I think. A little, don't know what the wires are far on the front. Um, but either way, that's a real nice little old hand-stitched or handmade teddy bear with glass eyes. Just a nice little thing. It came in this morning for 50 pence. No, it was a pound. I'm sorry, it was a pound. Meow. He's cute enough. He'll sell. Then I had this, which is a carved wooden panel. Now, this is the Hindu goddess. Uh, I have looked it up and it's Lakshmi Diva. L A K S H M I D V I A which translates to the Hindu goddess of wealth. So a real nice little carbon. This is wood. 
and quite nicely it has the original label on the back now i did excuse me been a long morning i did actually search this label and it is a big company in Bang bangalore 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 yeah bangalore that uh, hand carves quality wooden um, pieces like this um, and sends them out. So it doesn't have huge, huge age, but it is a really, really nice piece. Good quality carving, nice subject matter. Um, I found one up for sale for, I think it was 4,000 something, uh, but I have no idea what the currency was. Um, there she is there, um, but I have no idea what this currency is. However, I see her at about £30. She came in the mo this morning for £4, so about five and a half, six dollars um, It's a good size, about 10 inches tall. You know, you wouldn't want to carve that for £30, £35, would you? I know I wouldn't. And Hindu goddesses always sell well. So, happy days. Next piece was my first buy of the day, which is not something I buy that much. I'm not 100%. Is that the right lid? The purples do match up, but the pink rose on the lid isn't repeated on the body. So I'm not sure if it's the, if this is the correct lid. It does work with it. Um, but we have a Royal Albert Sweet Violets coffee pot. Now... Bought her in haste this morning. There is a small, a very small chip on the uh, inner rim there. Didn't know, so I'll boot this out now. This will go down the boot sale as it stands now for a tenner. It cost me £3 this morning. It's still going to show me a good profit. So £3, about just over $4. And I'll boot him out now for a tenner. And he'll fly out a deal. I'll rip my arm off for that uh, down the boot sale. Had he been not had the chip, it would have gone on the website. I did miss a full, well, I say full, a part Country Roses um, tea set, teapot, cake stand, plates, everything uh, for £26. But a friend had it, and I'd rather a friend have it than a stranger. So, but yeah, that's gone for a tenner. Richie, if you're watching, if you want the teapot or coffee pot for a tenner, it's yours, fella. Just leave a comment, and I won't take it to the boot sale. But it will be going uh, to my next car boot sale if I don't hear from you. Next piece I had was this Thomas Webb photo frame. It's not a large one, unfortunately, but still a pleasant Thomas Webb crystal picture frame in its original box. It cost me two pounds, two and a half dollars, and. No. Again, I think that's sort of 10, 10, 12 pounds, something like that. Um, it's a comfortable 10, 12 pound for Thomas Webb in that condition. Maybe even 15 if I'm lucky. I'll have to look it up. Let me see. It looks like I'm going to share my star lot with him now. This one I paid money for. Everything else this morning has come in for. 50p a pound or two pound. Everything. Well, the teapot was the dearest at three pound. This I bought off trade. You can't even see where it is. There you go. That should give you an idea. You're going to love this. So as you can see, it is in its original box. Now, this is entitled True Love, and it is Swedish art glass. It is signed and dated. I can't even read the uh, signature there, but uh, fortunately for me, I have all the paperwork. There you go. So 2010, True Love, you have the heart there and the man and woman. Absolutely beautiful. You can see the size on it. It's a good, good size. Nice bit of Swedish glass. 
And I'm not even going to try and pronounce it, but there you go. You can read it for yourself. That's the maker. And then I have all the uh, details in here. And you can see there's the two people with the heart on a square plate. So, yeah. Really, really nice. Really good subject matter. Swedish art glass signed and dated on a big lump in its original box and in mint perfect condition. Now, if you're a glass collector, that's perfect. Price. I was offered this this morning at £50 and I said no. Uh, it was a bit strong for me and we come in and I paid 40 40 pounds sterling, so you're talking about 50, 55 dollars. Absolutely stunning. Love it. Such a beautiful, I love the colors. Really is just a beautiful piece of Swedish art glass in its box with its paperwork in mint condition. And I can tell you now, I'm putting 100 on it. Um, 100 plus postage and I think it's worth every penny of that okay I've had another miner's lamp um, as usual Thomas and Williams now this one has had a bit of work they've got nails holding the um, plaque in place the well, plaque hasn't been replaced it's probably lost a pin or something and they've put a nail in there it looks like a nail um, it is dated it's ETW 1947. So it's a real nice early 1947 minus lamp. Is that a restrike? No, that's the way. Just to lift that up. Yeah, so this one, 1947. Um, so this has been underground. Number 38. Looking at that hole there, it would have had maybe a re-striker uh, to relight it underground. But 1947, Thomson Williams lamp, and it cost only 20 pounds. Not being funny, these lamps, 80 to 100 pound, no problem at all. Um, especially when they've been underground. 20 pound, you know, $26, $27. Love it. I'm uh, getting a good run on miners' lamps at the moment. I don't know how. Just seem to be buying a few of them. Okay, so that is it. It is a very short and sweet Sunday morning. <laughs> um, what can I say? I'm happy about a little bit of jewellery. I love the Swedish art glass plate. The rest of it is just work in stock. But you know what? It'll sell. It'll show me a profit. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.